Hello guys, today I'm talking about inverse of a matrix, direct method, and determinant method to calculate the inverse of a matrix. Definition. Suppose we have n times n square matrix. If we have square matrix B of size n times n such that a times B and B times A are identity matrix. In this case, we say that A is invertible and B is called the inverse of A. And for the inverse of A, we use this notation, A to the power of minus one. We will use this notation. And uh, the inverse of a square matrix doesn't always exist. And if the matrix is not invertible, this type of matrix is called singular matrix. If it's invertible, in this case, uh, we use the name of non-singular matrix. If A is invertible, then for every natural P, uh, we use this notation for the P's power of uh, inverse matrix. And the set of invertible matrices, we use this notation. Invertible matrices have some properties. Uniqueness of the inverse. And this property says that if a matrix is invertible, then its inverse is unique. Inverse of inverse. If A is invertible matrix, then the inverse of A is also invertible and the inverse of invertible matrix is A itself. Inverse of a product of two matrices. If we have two matrices A and B and these are invertible, then A times B is also invertible and this expression is true. The inverse of A times B is equal to the inverse of B times the inverse of A. The last one, simplification by an invertible matrix. And let we have two matrices A and B and C is invertible. Then A times C is equal to B times C implies that A is equal to B. Here I'm going to prove all of the properties. First, I prove that uh, the inverse is unique. Suppose that we have a matrix. And this matrix has two inverses, B1 and B2. B1 and B2. Then by the definition, we can write that A times B1 is equal to B1 times A is identity matrix of size N times N. And A times B2 is B2 times A is identity matrix. Then for B1, we can write B1 times identity matrix B1 times instead of identity matrix, uh, we can write this expression or this one. I will write this one. A times B2. And here using the associativity for multiplication, I will write B1 times A times B2. Then from here, you see B1 times A is identity matrix. Identity matrix times B2 will be B2. And this shows that B1 and B2 are the same. B1 is B2. And from here, the inverse is unique. That's all. 
Let's look at the second one. We know that a times the inverse of a is equal to the inverse of a times a is identity matrix. Because of this, the inverse of inverse matrix will be a itself. That's all. Third one. A times B inverse is equal to the inverse of B times the inverse of A. Let's prove this. First, I'll try to calculate the inverse of B times the inverse of A times a multiplied by b is equal to the inverse of b times the inverse of a times a times b and you see this expression will be identity matrix then the result will be the inverse of b times b is identity matrix then I calculate A times B multiplied by the inverse of B times the inverse of A. This. Then from here, A times B times the inverse of B times the inverse of A. This part is identity matrix. Is A times the inverse of A is identity matrix okay and from here using the definition of inverse matrix the inverse of b times the inverse of a will be the inverse matrix of a times b a times b inverse that's all okay let's try to prove the last one Suppose we have three matrices A, B, and C. And C is invertible. Let's prove that A times C is equal to B times C. Implies that a is equal to b to prove this i will start from a you know a is equal to a times identity matrix is a times instead of identity matrix we can write c times the inverse of c is equal to and here i will use the associative therefore multiplication a times C times the inverse of C. A times C, we know that is B times C. B times C times the inverse of C. And here I will use the associative taking B times in parentheses C times the inverse of C will be identity matrix B times identity matrix is B that's all and you see A is equal to B okay from here A will be
that's all. To calculate the inverse of matrix, we have three methods. Direct method, determinant method for two times two matrices, and Gauss method. But in this lecture, I will explain you uh, first of two. Direct method. In this method, we define the coefficients of B such that A times B is equal to B times A is identity matrix. Let's look at this exercise. Study the invertible of the following matrices. Is square unit matrix IN invertible? If yes, determine its inverse. Is the square null matrix invertible or not? Okay, let's look at the first one. We know that if A is invertible, then we have some matrix C. such that A times C is equal to C times A is identity matrix. Let's suppose that C is A, B, C, D. If C is inverse of A, in this case, you know that A times C will be identity matrix. Then I will write the expression of a here, 1, 2, 0, 3, times A, B, C, D is equal to identity matrix. From here, you know that it will be A plus 2C, B plus 2D, 3C, 3D is equal to 1001. If we solve this one from here, A plus 2C will be 1, B plus 2D is 0, 3C is 0, 3D is one. From here, A will be 1, C is 0, D is 1 over 3, B is minus 2 over 3. Then our matrix C will be this one. 1 minus 2 over 3. 0, 1 over 3. If we calculate the multiplication of C times A, it will be identity matrix as well. Then from here, A times C and C is identity matrix. Because of this, a will be invertible. And the inverse of A will be C. You know C is this one. 1 minus 2 over 3, 0, 1 over 3. That's all. Let's look at the second question. I n times I n is I n. Because of this, I n is invertible. And its inverse is itself. That's all. Let's look at the third one. Is zero matrix invertible or not? We know that if we take any matrix B, B times zero matrix, 
is equal to zero matrix times B is zero matrix. Because of this, zero matrix is not invertible. Why? Because zero matrix is different from ident matrix. That's all. And the next method is called determinant method for two times two matrices. And we use this method for only two times two matrices. Suppose that we have two times two size matrix A. If AD, you see A times D minus B times C is different from zero, then A is invertible. And for the inverse of A, we will use this expression. And here, a times D minus B uh, times C is called the determinant of A. Let's look at this exercise. If possible, compute the inverse of the following matrices. And here, I will calculate the first one. I will find the inverse of A and inverse of D. Uh, you can find B and C by yourself. A is 3, 1, 7, 2. First, we find the determinant of A. You see the determinant of A will be 3 times 2 minus 7 times 1. 7 times 1 is minus 1 is different from 0. Because of this, A is invertible. And for the inverse of A, we use the expression of 1 over AD minus BC. D, A, minus B, minus C. It will be 1 over minus 1. And we change and the places of 3 and 2, 2, 3, kind of 1 and 7, minus 1, minus 7. That's it. And this matrix multiplied by minus 1 will be minus 2, 1, 7, 3. I'm sorry, minus 3. That's it. Let's find the inverse of D. D is A plus 1, 1, 2, A. First, we calculate the uh, determinant of D. Determinant will be A plus 1 times A plus 2 times 1 is equal to A squared plus A minus 2. Discriminant will be 1 plus 8 is 9. And using this, and the zeros of uh, this function will be minus 1 plus minus 3 over 2. Okay. A will be this. Then we can say that if A is equal to and these numbers, or these numbers, 1 minus 2, then a squared plus a minus 2 will be 0. Because of this, in this case, d is not invertible. Okay. Or is singular, is a singular matrix. If a is different from 1 and minus 2, then determinant a squared plus a minus 2 will be different from 0. Because of this, in this case, d will be invertible matrix. And the inverse of d will be 1 over determinant a squared plus a minus 2 
and then we change the places of a plus one and a a a plus one and then here we change the sign of uh, one and two minus one minus two that's all and this matrix will be the inverse of d okay see you guys next lesson